Hi, so these were the three problems which I posted for day 9 of our 15 days math smart puzzle challenge. So we are going to solve them one by one and we are going to solve in the shortest possible way. So let's start with the first problem and then we will go for the second and after that we will solve the third problem. So this is our first problem where we have to find the area of the shaded region. So if you see this outer boundary is actually a square and this is actually a quarter of the circle and similarly all these other three are also the quarters of the circle so if i subtract four quarters of circles from the area of the square i should get the area of this gray shaded region so the area of the square will be 14 multiplied by 14 because each side of the square is 14 minus four quarters of the circle Yes, four quarters together will make a complete circle whose radius will be half of one side of the square. So, this will be the area of the circle whose radius equal to 7. So, area of a circle is pi r square. So, this can be written as 14 multiplied by 14 minus pi is 22 by 7 r square. r is equal to 7 over here. So, 7 multiplied by 7, right? So, this 14 can be written as 7 multiplied by 2. Similarly, another 14 can also be written as 7 multiplied by 2. I am expanding it just to take 7 multiplied by 7 common from both the terms because that will actually speed up the whole process. This 22 by 7, I'll write as it is, multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7. The 7 multiplied by 7 are there in both the terms. So, 7 sevens are 49. I'll take 49 common and this will be 4 minus 22 by 7 inside the bracket. So, this will be 49 multiplied by 7 fours are 28 minus 22 is 6 divided by 7. So, 7 sevens are 49 and 7 multiplied by 6 is 42. So, the area of this shaded region will be 42 square units. So, this is one way of solving the problem. Otherwise, if you know the square of 14, which is 196, you can directly write the square and the 7 will cancel this 7 and 22 multiplied by 7 will be 154. So, from here also, you will get the result as 42 square units. So, it's completely up to you. If you know the square, you can follow this process. And if you don't know the square, you can take try to take as much as common from both these terms and then you can solve it. So, this is the solution for the first problem and now let's focus on the second problem. So, this was our second problem where we have two circles. Outer circle is of radius 14 and inner circle is of radius 7 and we have to find the area of this ring whose inner radius is 7 and outer radius is 14. So, Yes, you can find the area of complete outer circle and then subtract the area of the inner circle from it and you will find the area of our original shaded region. So, area of the outer circle will be pi multiplied by r square that is 14 square. I am not substituting the value of pi right now. I will do it later. Minus pi multiplied by 7 square which is the area of the inner circle. So, I can take pi multiplied by 7 square common from here and inside the bracket from here we will have 2 square that is 4 minus 1 and pi can be written as 22 by 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 3 this 7 will cancel this and this will be 22 multiplied by 3 is 66 multiplied by 7 and this will be equal to 6 7s are 42 4 carried forward 6 7s are 42 again plus 4 is 46 so the area of the ring will be 462 square units otherwise also from here if you take pi common inside the bracket you will have 14 square minus 7 square which can be written as 14 plus 7 multiplied by 14 minus 7 and pi is equal to 22 by 7. 14 plus 7 is 21 multiplied by 14 minus 7 is 7. This 7 will cancel this 7 and this again will give us the result as 462 square units. So it's completely up to you which method you follow but if you remember all the algebraic formulae things will become easier for you. And now let's solve the third problem. So this is another puzzle where we have to find the area of this 
black shaded region. So area of this shaded region will be the sum of areas of these two squares which is 4 4s are 16 plus 6 6 are 36 minus the area of this triangle which will be equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 plus 6 10 minus the area of this triangle which will be equal to 1 by 2 6 multiplied by 6 so 2 ones are 2 2 threes are 6 and 2 twos are 4 so 16 plus 36 is 52 minus 10 twos are 20 minus 6 threes are 18 so this will be 32 minus 18 which will be equal to 12 minus 8 is 4 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so it will be 14 square units so that's all for this video and in few hours i'll be posting problem set for day number 10 so keep watching math smart and bye bye till then